Jake, here's one of your better throws from practice today. Compared with Robert Hotzing. Here you guys are set up to run the ring. You're in good shape. <coughs> Excuse me. Got some space between the feet there. Your toes are out. Disc is back. Looking good. Here's Robert. Right toes touch down right there. There's your right toe touch down. And on this one, we didn't get those knees squeezed so great. But what's really good is look how far the disc is back. And your left arm is working back instead of sweeping open, you know, prematurely. So your upper body the, the uh, you know the calmness of your upper body here is going to make this a nice throw. He goes Roberts driving into the throw. Here you are. And once again, as we're moving forward here, that left arm is really doing a great job. Stand back, stand back, so that your weight can stay back on this right leg. Here we go. Here's Robert. He's driving his right knee out. Staying back. He's got his weight on that right knee. Here you are, driving your right knee. Again, you're doing a really good job. You're keeping your weight back. Disc is way back here. Very nice. Here's Robert. Boom. Chasing that disc out. Here you are. Boom. Pretty solid. So I'd say on this throw, you just did such a nice job of keeping your arms long and slow that even though you didn't get the left foot out of the back the way we'd like to, your upper body stayed long and slow and it gave you a chance Keep your weight back in the power position and hit a really, really nice throw. Excellent.